Before this video starts, I wanted to let you guys know that I lost the video file for the first one because the video got corrupted when we start my PC. So you won't be able to see me finish up the story quest from the first star, you won't see me finish up the half of the first star. Kinda of wish Genshin lets you waste that story quest. Video got corrupted, so I'm gonna stop recording this anyways. Moshi Boshi my game was there. Welcome back to Genshi Impact. The legendary flower August had was once all the version of Foul Tame, but we went completely extinct inside the Sea of Flames. Many years later, rumors of our cities were pale and similar spread like wildfire, and all many of people watched our to point almost. The delayed judgment shall finally be delivered, and the summoning embers shall ignite. People create fall graffiti for flowers, and brew for food with symbolism and attach their love and hatred to objects to remind themselves to never forget. Today, we are doing Emily's story quest. Like always, when there's a new character, we got a new trial we gotta try out. Ooh la la, Emily's design, god damn, love the heels, how they look on her outfit, damn. By the way, is that see through to her chest? Damn, her nipples being covered. Show me idol animation, lady. Oh, here we go. What's she sniffing? Oh yeah, perfume, that's right. Unless those are uh, knockout with your secretly sniffing ma'am. Ooh, another one. <gasps> A lamp. Ooh. Okay. Is that the a lamp of wisdom? E ability? And Bennett Bundam! Her charge attack though looks pretty amazing. Let's check out your alt. Beautiful with the eye heal angle. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, love that. When I pull for her, I would, but because I have a foul tank team already, I don't need to. My HP is so low. Yeah. Kind of want to go to my story, story quest from where I came from instead of showing the, the rest of the half of the story quest. Well, well. Isn't back. I hope she didn't run into any trouble. Hmm, I'm sure she's prepared to handle anything that might come away. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Traveler, I had my men start spreading the information you requested. The crowd is gone now, too, but I have to admit, I'm not really sure what's going on. After listening to Emily's plan, I started getting the materials together and arranging personnel. I barely had a second to spare last night. To be honest, I'm still not sure how the crime was committed that night. It's pretty simple, actually. The key crew was right in front of us the entire time! I feel like I've been wanting to say that for a while. <laughs> let's go! We'll show you where the culprit hit a goose! Pretty simple. Okay. Pull out where a goose is. What? Incense! This is leaving the air. It seems for me somehow. Amy checked last night. Turns out it's spared spider bone. Wasn't this incense originally in Lucian's room? It must have been moved here before nightfall yesterday. Mm hmm. Are we actually going to guess by looking around? Flowers? Oh, never mind. The coins are filled with flowers and donations. The fender is incredibly strong. The glistening is sweet, gentle. The pussy close. The wing must show around the wind. The picture feels sticky to the touch. We did find a clue. The glazed lily, huh? I think I've heard of it before. It's a flower from Liyue, right? Mm-hmm. Well, did you know? It only blooms at night. Emily, you're back! How did it go? Exactly as expected. A flower that only blooms at night. Ah, like the Neelipala Lotus. Exactly. Although, the Neelipala Lotus wouldn't be a good substitute in this scenario. When it's closed, the gaps between the petals are too large. That's why Kyria chose the Glaze Lily as his mechanism. He would start by preparing an Agu sample. Oh, here we go! Hmm, double it on outside of the pails. Petals supplied to the outside. You would still be able to smell a goose, even in the daytime. Okay. If poured into the flower pot, the liquid would seep into the soil. That might prevent the substance from taking effect. Okay, Ether? There's a sticky substance on the edge of the flower petals. It's one I recognize. Okay. If you Is stick the petals together with slime condensate, then in the daytime, the glaze lily would act almost like a hidden container. <gasps> um, submit. Hmm. No, that doesn't. 
Oh my god, I saw Sun Y to me. That's right. He applied a diluted form of slime condensate to the petals to stick them together and enclosed a sample of a goose in the center. That way, the goose would remain trapped inside during the daytime, unable to seep between the petals and evaporate into the air. This also allowed the culprit to plant the poison well in advance while his targets remained oblivious. However, the diluted slime condensate wouldn't be viscous enough to prevent the petals of the glazed lily from opening at night. So by nightfall, the flower would bloom, thereby forcing the target to inhale the goose trapped inside. And Kyria could execute his revenge without having to step foot inside the room during the night. By the way, this is part two, but by never mind that. Morning, the sample of a goose would have nearly fully evaporated. The glaze lily would have already closed its petals, and any lingering odor would be concealed by the fragrance of the other flowers in the room. And his mission would be accomplished. Wait a second. You're telling me this version of a goose is so toxic, inhaling the minute amount trapped inside a flower is enough to kill a grown man? And how did Edgar even survive ingesting a whole bottle of the stuff? That's because a goose is just as dangerous now as it was all those years ago. The level of toxicity has never changed. Only a small subset of people are truly at risk. Ah, uh, you mean people who are sensitive to elemental energy? So it's just some sort of happy coincidence that Sylvain and Lucian are allergic to the stuff? That can't be right. They were involved in the operation all those years ago. If the stuff gave them a bad reaction, they would have known from the very start. I wouldn't use the word allergic, necessarily. It's more like they're susceptible to its effects. But that distinction isn't important right now. You can think of it this way. It's not that Sylvain and Lucian are innately sensitive to elemental energy, but that Kyria found a way to ensure that they would be. Okay, the Primordial Sea? In Fontaine, I experienced how drinking primordial seawater made me more attuned to the element of Hydro. Mm -hmm. But that substance would be hard to get around here. Uh-huh. Next. All kinds of essential oils commonly found in alchemical products can temporarily increase elemental affinity. But it would be difficult to force someone to use them without knowing it. Incense. The incense I smelled earlier seemed familiar. Thinking back on it, I'm almost certain it was the scent of spirit borneal. Mm, In Sumeru, scholars use spirit borneal to aid meditation and stimulate their connection to the dendro archon. Uh, so make this one? Alchemically okay. produced essential oils, the primordial seawater that caused unrest in Fontaine not too long ago. All of those are substances that can heighten your sensitivity to elemental energy. And here I chose spirit boredom. Oh. That stuff gave us a lot of trouble when we first came to Smeru. Oh yeah. Oh yes, I definitely remember that. My, oh my god, is the main character! In Sumeru, it's not uncommon to use incense indoors, so its presence wouldn't arouse suspicion. The flowers in the room could also serve to mask the scent. Flowers are pretty important to this plan, huh? The glazed lily is native to Liwa. It would be completely unnatural to have one here in Sumeru if it weren't for the exhibition. What a coincidence. Actually, it's not a coincidence at all. Hmm, the exposition, the hotel. No wonder he was willing to pay a small fortune to rent out the hotel. He probably used the more Yelena left him, don't you think? That money was supposed to set him free, but in the end, it was just a tool for his revenge. There's a saying yeah, among golly. forensic doctors in Fontaine. Every step you take leaves a mark. But up until this point, we haven't been able to detect any trace of Curia's activities. That's not because he was coming and going undetected, or because he's some kind of evil spirit, but because he's been disguised as someone else this entire time. Hmm. Edgar, it's more likely. Creating such an intricate mechanism out of a glaze lily. Setting up the spirit Borneal in advance. And arranging for Sylvain and Lucian to stay at the hotel. It all points to one person. The expert. Yeah, that's the what I'm thinking. Exhibition. Hold up. What other one? The more spent to rent out the hotel, the way the Auguste flower was cultivated, the method used to disguise his appearance. It all points to one person. The boy who inherited Yelena's legacy. Her younger brother. 
I'm pointing to Edgar, unless it's someone else. A trigger. The wheel murderer. Kyria and Edgar are one in the same. So it wouldn't matter. Eh? Uh, wait, hold up. Submit. But Kyria was it. only in his teens back then. He wouldn't even be 40 years old by now. Edgar's lived here for so many years. Even if he changed his appearance, going that long without giving anything away, it would be impossible. Like he pretended to drink it like it was someone else? The bad news, Sheriff! Mr. Edgar was attacked! What? A dark shadow-like figure just ran out of his room. It was giving off a really ominous aura. But before we could even react, the figure up and disappeared like some sort of ghost or something. By the time we got a look inside the room, Mr. Edgar was gone. Do you think Kyria kidnapped him? I need you to think very carefully about this. Are you certain that figure wasn't Edgar himself? Uh, I mean, Mr. Edgar was so frail. I don't see how he could have moved that fast. It would seem Master decided to tap into an ill-advised source of power. What? But that's so dangerous with the condition he's in. Uh, it's... Suicide. But why? Why would he do that? He's already accomplished his revenge. No. If his aim was to target everyone who had a hand in Yelena's death... If he left Sylvain alive yesterday, not out of a desire to see him suffer, but to confirm the truth about why Yelena chose to die... Then... there's still one target left. And... do we get the answer to that? The shadow-like figure ran in the direction of the elevator, and my partner immediately chased after them. We got Sino here. Before they're forced to confront each other. Don't worry, the great Sino. Yeah, sure. Anyways, the great Sino is here. Can you speak? A ghost. It's a ghost. It's all right. Please calm down and take a deep breath. Can you tell us what you saw? <laughs> She's so pretty. God damn. I saw a black shadow. It ran right past me. That way? How could... How could something like that happen in broad daylight? Mm hmm? Okay. Kusukiwa. Or it could be... Oh, people are terrified. Look at that. This is terrifying. Oh, yes, it is terrifying. Can you say something? Ma'am? Huh? Sound looks so fired up. Uh, I'm not gonna question why you said that. Sal just here going like, I am here to make sure everything's right with colleague. Uncle Sino, it's you. Is it here? We're going to a domain next. Uh, if we go any further, we'll be out of Port Ormos. There'll be hardly any witnesses. It's all right. I can detect a faint whiff of the scent from here. I would say he passed by this location not too long ago. Oh, you mm. can smell it. It's this way. Please follow me. Ooh, we're gonna jump up, are we? I mean, most likely we are. From what I'm seeing. Yeah, you can too far. I'm gonna bounce up. Bounce up with Sino! Whee! Oh, we're going up. Like, careful. Sino got this. Bounce up! Boing! Yeah! Is that a chest? Ooh, oh, ho, ho. domain. Ooh, hold up, hold up. Let me get the chest real quick. I didn't know it was you. Never mind, I was. The is getting stronger. This must be the place. Yeah, I'm going. The ominous scent of the fragrance of August had led you here. The journey is at the end, and the vision is nigh. Okay, a domain. Oh, Oaks. Oaks. Oh, your partner. Are you all right? Were Were you attacked? Uh, no, no, I'm all right. I was just chasing after that figure, and then all of a sudden. I didn't feel so hot. Let me take a look. Let me see. The air definitely feels heavy. It smells nice, but for some reason, it's hard to breathe. <laughs> this feeling, I've encountered it before. Everything looks You right. have, Kali? It was probably just the stress of the chase, combined with the impact of the environment. A bit of rest would do you some good. I can't rest. Mr. Edgar is still in there. He taught my sister how to make perfume. He's a good man. I can't just abandon him to die by Curious Hand. Oz, you need to calm down and listen to me. Edgar is the one we're after. He and Kyria are the same person. But 
How is that possible? I thought you said Kyria was in his 30s. Mr. Edgar is 70-something. Changing your appearance to look decades older, that doesn't seem possible. That's precisely why he had to resort to extraordinary measures to age himself. A delusion. Kyria used a delusion to bring back the Auguste flower, corroding his body in the process, just like his older sister. No. He couldn't have. Mr. Edgar has been in Port Ormost for years. If someone started impersonating him all of a sudden, we would have noticed. And what if the impersonation started before he ever set foot in Sumeru? I... Uh, oh, ho, ho. I've Caught yet you. to confirm it, but I suspect Kyria killed the real Edgar in Fontaine not long after his release from prison. Oh? And while Edgar was incarcerated, Kyria started making preparations to replace him, including forcefully aging his body studying perfumery, and planning the real Edgar's demise. The new Edgar then decided to relocate to Sumeru, seemingly out of an innocuous desire to let go of the past. He even left perfume making in favor of mentoring students, but these decisions were all for a specific purpose, the need to distance himself from anyone who might see through the facade. And Sumeru fit the bill to a T, with no one around to question his identity. All he had to do was grow a beard, don a pair of glasses, make a few minor alterations to his appearance, and everyone would believe he was exactly who he claimed, Edgar, a perfumer from Fontaine. As the years went by, he removed his disguise little by little and continued to refine his skills. It would have been a gradual process, one that ensured no one around him would notice anything unusual. That explains why Sylvain said he barely recognized Edgar back at the hotel! He aged himself decades beyond his years just so he could accomplish his revenge! Is that even worth it? Nah. -uh. I, I need to find Mr. Edgar. He's not that kind of person. He can't be. <coughs> what you really need is to get out of here and rest. No, I... I can keep going. Wait! This environment is likely being influenced by the delusion. Any discomfort, no matter how slight, should not be treated lightly. I know how to relieve your symptoms, Mr. Ooze. Please come with me and rest. I'm sure Kyria... No, Edgar. Wouldn't want any more innocent people implicated in all this. Kale's right. The Traveler and I will take things from here. From our brief exposure to a goose, it would seem the substance has little effect on us. This leads me to believe those blessed with a vision or capable of wielding elemental power are more resistant to the effects of abnormal elemental energy. In other words, this environment doesn't pose as much of a risk to us. Actually, now that I think about it, this stronghold likely has multiple points of entry. If the target were to escape from a different point of entry, that might allow him to evade capture. I hate to trouble you, but we need people to survey the perimeter. I... Come on. Uh, thanks. Hear that? We're heading out. There's work to be done. Oh, ooze, head back to Port Ormos and start gathering reinforcements. <sighs> Got it. Traveler, Emily, Paimon, please be careful. For someone whose only purpose in life is revenge, there is no telling what they'll do when there's no reason to move forward. Don't worry. This isn't the end. Not for us or for Kyria. We're not going to let a goose kill anyone else. It's time for the mythos to fade into obscurity. Yeah, that's why you tell them. I'm like, ooh, I'm being, I'm being too gentle. What's the point of that? <laughs> like we bounced. Uh, you're trying to flash us? Too bad. Those are not panties. Those are shorts. So be quiet, people. Oh, wow. So the music. Can I find some enemies? Most likely we are. With Emily. Monsters. Perhaps they were attracted here by the increased level of elemental energy. Yeah. Yeah, but with Oh, careful. Careful they huh? Side swinging your sword. Yeah, keep putting them flamey fire and then do like that. That's a lot of damage. Yep, you buddy. Ooh, what's this? What is bad out? They must also have been created with the power of a delusion. Hmm. It seems to be avoiding us, and there's no other way forward. Perhaps we could try luring it to the edge of the cliff. Oh! Yeah, yeah, we're trying to do that. We're trying to do that. Go that way. 
go feather. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, go down there. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, this is one dot. Oh, yes, yeah, an extra chest. Hell yeah. Oh, what is this area? We go that way? What's this? Whoa, look at all the Agust flowers! There are so many of them. I can't believe a single person did all this. Must have taken a lot of time. I fear that statement is truer than you know, Paimon. Using a delusion comes at a cost. Not just time, but the time you have left to live. But why would Kyria need this many Agust flowers? He only needed a few bottles of Agust to carry out his plan, right? Perhaps hatred wasn't the only emotion fueling his obsession with Agust. What do you mean? Not long ago, he told me he didn't want all the flowers transported to Samaru to wither away in a foreign land. But Kyria betrayed Snezhnaya, abandoned Fontaine, and oh, lived yeah. his entire the life last in nation we're going under to the guise of someone else. Else. For someone with nowhere to call home, perhaps dying among a bed of a goose flowers just like his sister is the best homecoming he could ask for. You think so? Also, who house is that? Do you guys see that? Um... How do we... I guess we go this way. I guess? I don't know if I'm doing my path or not. Okay, huh? Can you... Nah, I guess not. I just drowned it. Oh, I see it! Okay, don't tell me twice. Oh yeah, we do some, some chess and food. What about the hill? It's still up. Oh, I was the why. Why is there a house here? Did he stay here? Secretly? Pretending? Most likely he has. That's my prediction of what I'm thinking. Okay. I don't have 90 wishes, 91, but I'm saving for 90 characters. With the pile I got being my main, most likely? But we don't know. Oh, big boy, here we go. Hiya! Yep, double it. Yeah, I'm gonna fish you with Dendro! Yeah, that's right. Gonna burn you all! Gonna burn you all! <laughs> burn you all. Come here, bitch. Wow, two the heck? Layla, go on. Is it okay? Okay, you okay? okay. And Polly? It's Sino. Yeah, I'm gonna swing on these fuckers. Yeah, let's go, Sino. Let's go, Sino. Always, Sino. Uh, we'll do it again. Most likely, we do. So, we're gonna go this way. Uh, yeah, go this way. The great Sino says go that way. Yeah, go on. And then we. Uh, what are those lights? Is that good or bad? I don't know. I kind of want to touch it. Oh, it's just lights. I thought to do. Oh wait, let's try Kali real quick. Nah, it's just it's part of luminous. It's just illuminating. I guess it is a part of it. Gotta be careful. Ooh, gotta, oh, pretty! Oh wow, this is pretty. Don't lose all that shit. You call it my god, why, lady? I wasn't trying the to lose any. The flowers is getting stronger. We're almost at the end. Oh, baby? Oh. You see, a little more longer than this, but okay. Now, where are we now? <coughs> the scent of flowers is getting stronger. We're almost at the end. Did they catch up that fast? <coughs> no. My strength is just waning. What are you holding? Is that some fake ass vision? But it doesn't matter. This is far enough. <laughs> nah, man, he's trying. Uh, Taking drugs, boy. This is a garden of a goose. Flowers. 
What are you turning yourself into? But, it's not mine. It's the one that was set on fire all those years ago in Fontaine. Y Elena? Y Elena! You tried to hide it from me, but I... I always understood. The reason why you continued to use the delusion. The reason why you set your garden on fire. It was all because of me. I shouldn't have listened to you that day. I shouldn't have taken the mora and ran. But by the time I realized something wasn't right, there was nothing left. The flowers were gone. And so were you. I know I'm almost 20 years too late. I should have come looking for you earlier. I should have... I should have died with you that day. Elena? Uh. No, you get pushed away, dude. Elena! No. Don't leave me. Please. That's kind of creepy to look at. Yelena! Damn. Give that yonder look of saying goodbye. Emily? Like, Master, you freak bitch, I'm gonna step on you for this. I. I'm alive. No, that's not possible. I saw her. Yelena. We were together. That was an illusion, likely brought about by the residual toxin in your body coupled with the pollen in the air, neither of which are fatal. No. The amount of August I drank, it should have been enough. I'm sorry to say this, but that was fucking fake. A fake? But uh, how? We started making the preparations last night with one goal in mind, to create a perfect accord. Yeah? Then what that the accord be? is the, the basis, basis of perfume, perfume making, the, the product, product in its, its most primitive form. Ambergris mixed with cedar wood, rounded out with a base note of agar wood. <gasps> this is the scent of leather. Exactly. Oh my God! Even 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 so young, <laughs> she's still pretty. We can recreate. Okay, Getting older, gorgeous. So that is the purpose of an accord. You can recreate any scent in the whole world? <laughs> you used to have long hair, apparently. I'm afraid not. Certain fragrances in this world are simply one of a kind. Hmm. That quality is what draws people in and fuels their obsessions. If I wear a goose to the ball, I'll also be one of a kind. Our competitor already got their hands on it. This fragrance will be one of a kind, no more. Myths can be deconstructed, miracles can be recreated. All it takes is skill, experience, limitless exploration, and a little patience. Oh, a different kind of self cutscene. The only thing left is determining where the real Auguste is hidden. Okay. Pretending to be attacked means he's not free to move around. A goose must be hidden within reach. Herman took a peek through the window earlier and his house was packed with flowers. The curator commissioned a flower pot from Kisharawar capable of retaining heat and moisture. Oh, Perfumes this are this as involves us, as okay. Flowers and equally as delicate. When stored, you must take care to control the temperature and keep them away from direct sunlight. Did you get all that, Emily? Mm -hmm. I got it. Hmm. I got older, I developed tits! Do we show the cousin to take a move? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I know, I know only some they do. It's just very often we don't see it that much. So, Sylvain is dead. Is that right? Yes. Yes, Master. Yeah, that's right. Like, Master, why so, are you being such a bitch? You switched the bottles of August. 
and then lied to me about Sylvain's death. Convincing you that your revenge had been completed was the easiest way to get you to let down your guard. Impossible. Even if you found a way to switch out the bottles, there's no way you could have made an accord. If August was so easy to replicate, Yelena wouldn't have. It was a combination of rainbow roses, glaze lilies, and Cecilia's. Those ingredients would have conflicted with each other if you tried to combine them in the past. But recently, we found a way for them to work together. Rainbow roses, glaze lilies, and Cecilia's? Auguste was created over ten years ago. All this time, people never stopped analyzing it, never stopped trying to recreate it. Perfumery techniques are advancing day by day. We found better ways to extract essential oils, separate oils and fats. We even discovered new ways to combine fragrances together. The mythos surrounding Auguste may have been untouchable almost 20 years ago, but now it's time for it to become a thing of the past. The past? You've been working as a perfumer for all these years. You should have always known that it is possible to make an accord, even if only in theory. But the meaning you assigned to a goose became so inflated, you allowed yourself to get lost in it. Just like the perfume mania that captivated the public all those years ago. You believed in its divinity and grandeur. You believed it was entirely one of a kind. That is, was a bottle of perfume, nothing more. Your obsession with the goose is also what allowed us to predict how you intended your plan to end and to make preparations in advance. We just didn't expect it to happen so fast. Or oh, that you would activate the damned illusion. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hit the nail on the head now, didn't you? So, Sylvain isn't dead. Since you've been preparing your accord since last night, I assume you've also figured out my method, then. That means the news of Sylvain's death. The crowd gathered outside the hotel this morning. It was all an act you put on with the sheriff. Yes. If we hadn't, you might have resorted to the delusion out of desperation, or continued to use your spirit Borneal and a goose combination to wreak havoc. Who knows? Maybe I would have just offed myself then and there. I know if you had things your way, you would carry the truth of Edgar's demise and the secrets of this garden to the grave, but I'm sorry, Master. I don't want to see any more death. <sighs> Sylvain only inhaled a small amount of poison. He's being detained as we speak. All the crimes he concealed back then will be exposed in a court of law for everyone to see, and all his secrets will be revealed. The same goes for you as well. Is that so? Well, I suppose I'll be spending the rest of my days in a prison cell then. Well, he accepted that kind of fast. I don't feel the need to justify my actions. Nor do I intend to repent for them. I did what I set out to do. I may have lost in the end. But it was my choice every step of the way. And if I could do it all over again... <laughs> but there's no going back, is there? Careful, everyone. This environment is dangerous. I'll lead the way. To stick close and hurry up. You can't let Edgar die. Oh boy, the, the voice um faded. It looks like I'm almost out of time. Although, I do have one final question, Emily. Of course, Master. I think you got that yacht. Like, hell no, Master, fuck off. The combination you used to make your accord. How did you figure it out? The scent of a goose is complex and varied, yet the main ingredient consists of a single variety of flour. So, as I was analyzing the sample yesterday, I got to thinking. What if the scent of the Auguste flower was already imbued with that complexity during its cultivation? You're saying... Yelena designed August to have the scent of multiple flowers. Rainbow roses, glaze lilies, Cecilia's. The perfumers of the past knew that if you combine their essential oils directly, they would just cancel each other out. It was a conundrum they could never solve. But if you cultivate a new flower species that intrinsically carries the unique features of those three scents, you can bypass that issue entirely. It goes without saying that for that time, this idea was a stroke of genius. 
Rainbow roses, clays, lilies, and Cecilia's. <laughs> Those really do seem like flowers you would choose, Helena. Like you underarrest, you old piece of shit! Now long that the interval watch is over, can you see his face without saying a word? Yeah, that was a good ending. Let's take the chance and get going. And does Ultima cause but August finally comes to an end? If you sleep, you see a letter from Emily to do what? Wait, why am I here? What the? What? Am I? <gasps> I'm in full day just like that? That got a tough all the way here. Huh? Guess she's back all the way here. Oh my god. Okay, being with her Did alone. You know? I think it's called Yelena. Yelena? Interesting name. Seems like everyone in Fontaine is talking about the new perfume you're releasing. Ooh. I was hoping to release it without such a fuss, but the news spread way faster than I expected. I just hope it won't become the source of some new myth, especially after all the work we did to demystify a ghost. Did you use the accordion from back in the Samu? I did, although made a few modifications to the formula to make the scent more pleasant and long-lasting. I actually brought a few samples with me today. I hope they're to your liking. Also, I was hoping you could try out the fragrance before I officially release it and tell me your thoughts. Of course! A good sense of taste and sense of smell go hand in hand, you know? Just leave it to Paimon! Go on, Paimon. Paimon? How does it smell like? <laughs> oh, it smells great! I'm not sure that's the kind of feedback she had in mind. <laughs> it's alright. All feedback is worth considering. Besides, when it comes to perfume, commenting on whether it smells good is the most straightforward assessment you can ask for. There doesn't always have to be a deeper meaning. Speaking of deeper meaning, can I ask a follow-up question? Right! Do those flowers have some special meaning? Hearing their names seem to have an effect on him. Hmm, if I had to guess... I'd say it probably has something to do with the language of flowers. The language of flowers? Oh, we've heard of that before! Paimon remembers hearing something like, uh... The Cecilia represents the true feelings of the prodigal son? What each flower is said to represent varies by person and across different moments in history. The same is true for the flowers that make up the scent of a goose. After returning to Fontaine, I did some research. And it turns out the meanings of those three flowers can be reassembled to form a single phrase. <clears throat> Forget the past and keep on living. Perhaps that's the legacy Yelena always intended. Not the nobility and grandeur most people associate with the goose. Or maybe that's what she hoped for her brother. You think Kyria knew about that? I paid him a visit before his trial and explained what I found, but he didn't seem to care. Who knows? Maybe she didn't mean anything by it at all. That was his response. Mm. Yelena is gone. We'll never know what she was thinking. We can look for meaning all we want, but it'll never be anything but conjecture. Even if that is what she was trying to say, I would never be able to forget her. Avenging her death? That was the meaning I chose for my life. Kyria cultivated his revenge like a flower. He was committed to making it bloom, even if in the end, it didn't bear the fruit he was hoping for. Kyria. In any case, he did want me to pass along his thanks. Thank you for saving my life. For giving me the chance to learn that a goose could have carried a very different meaning. Love and hatred are a privilege of the living. When someone dies, their thoughts, feelings, and intentions die with them. In that sense, what a goose truly represents in the language of flowers will forever remain a mystery. But even if it's only a conjecture, I would like to believe my own interpretation. The meaning we give to flowers, the symbolism we assign to our perfumes, they're constantly twisted and exploited in our imperfect world. And yet, at the very outset, they're born from the simplest and most beautiful desires we hold in our heart. So is that the- Oh, yes it is! Oh, that's beautiful. This could have been a part 2, guys, but you know what? I just couldn't do anything because no one gives you impact. Once you do the story quest, you can't redo it. Oh, well, I'm gonna do it. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.